Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Salami and today we are doing Need for Speed the Run on Steam Deck. I'm going to show you how to install this game and my first initial thoughts on this game is this is one that passed me by when it launched way back when on the 360. So without further ado, here we go. So first things first is we're going to head over to desktop mode on our Steam Deck and we're going to search up this Reddit thread here. Just type in Need for Speed Abandoned Reddit and you'll get this uh, Reddit link and you're just going to scroll down to find uh, Need for Speed The Run. I thought we were going to need that password chemical but um, apparently it's not required but just scroll down until you find the one we're looking for. As you can see here they've got a lot of Need for Speed games available and but here is Need for Speed The Run which is this one here. Now I use the Google uh, download which worked for me but if you're having trouble using the Google one go ahead and try the mirror um, as the Google one can get overloaded if lots of people at the same time are trying to download it so just keep that in mind um, and this takes depending on your internet a so much amount of time um, and once you've done that we're in the money so if you're finding this helpful please give us a like give us a sub and a comment if you've got Need for Speed running the run on your Steam Deck all right as you can see here this game was delisted three years ago within 24 hours and then it was gone and they basically removed it from everywhere uh, and there was no official reason why so that's why we're doing this okay as you can see it's downloaded my downloads folder now you can put this extracted file wherever you want i moved it over to my sd card where i've got my other need for speed downloads now this is going to take quite a while to copy over so if you are planning to put on an SD card like me, um, prepare to be waiting a wee bit of time. Once it's copied over, we're going to extract it here on the SD card. Again, this is going to take some time. I think this took over 10 to 15 minutes for me to extract. So if you're going to do it on the SD card, just be aware that it's a bit of a time investment in just uh, the extraction process. So um, be patient, but it will take time. But once it's done, it's done, right? So it's easy and peasy once you've got it, but that first initial time can definitely take uh, a few moments. As you can see here, I won't I won't bore you with the entire 15 minute extraction, but just be aware that it will take some time. And to do all this, you're using the left and right triggers as your left and right click. Okay, once we've done that, I'm just gonna delete the extracted version. I don't need two versions on my SD card. And then inside of here, you're gonna see that there is a Need for Speed EXE. And there's also a non time saver exe now that's the one that you're going to want to use if you want to play the game from scratch like normal if you're booting it up for the first time and not wanting all the cars unlocked so that's the version i want i don't want the game already finished so you could simply copy and paste it and overwrite the current exe in here but what i decided to do was instead of just pasting over the unlocked exe i just renamed it unlocked and i paste and i moved it uh, into that folder so if I ever want to play the game with everything unlocked I can just go ahead and reuse that uh, original exe that um, chemical had made so uh, you can do what you like with that you could just make a new folder and paste it in there just called unlock and then just leave it where I went ahead and changed the name so I pasted it in there and then I pulled out the uh, normal exe and pasted it back in the main directory so you got a choice there if you want the unlocked game or the base game and then you go ahead and pull the left trigger and add to steam that's a pretty easy part of it once you've added it to steam we're basically in the money here it's not very hard we're going to go to our library we're then going to search up uh, the run to bring up the keyboard you hold the steam button and push x and once we've got that we're going to see here and if you go click play it's not going to work um, this is pretty common for most of these. You're going to go to the COG, Compatibility, Force Compat, and then just go to Experimental. With that, the game shall launch uh, no problem. And you can launch it from the desktop, but my recommendation is to play it from within uh, game mode, but worth checking. So these are my settings here, as you can see. Everything's on Ultra. Make sure you turn V-Sync off. That is really important. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get locked at 30 FPS the whole time where if you put it as unlocked I was getting on my OLED between 70 and 90 FPS I have locked the video uh, I've tried to use footage in this video at only 60 so the uh, the game doesn't the video doesn't have micro stutters um, 
so yeah that's that's it uh everything works from the get-go you have vibration triggers buttons all that are correctly mapped you don't have to do any kind of uh setup per se it just works um, so without further ado that is the installation guide for need for speed the run i know it seems really simple and you probably am like what a waste of time but if you found that helpful please let me know in the comments below i always am happy when i help people get games that they wanted from yesteryears up and running and i had no idea when they delisted the run that it was within 24 hours of them posting it was being delisted which is crazy to me um, onto the game itself, I feel like this might be an underappreciated Need for Speed game. I've put in about three hours so far and I'm really enjoying the title at the moment. Uh, I like the stages of it. Instead of doing the normal tracks, the whole game is basically the storyline is you're going from one side of the US to the other, which is pretty cool in itself. But because of that, you're not doing the standard circuit racing, you are doing sprints basically the whole way across well, so far, the time I put in, they've been, we've had sprints uh, where you've got to pass a t so many cars in a race in, the, in that time, a lot of time. So like this race here is three of eight. Um, and then you, we also had a downhill battle where it was, uh, you were just going down a hill, like a really windy hill trying to pass cars. You will then, we then had like, I've also had a time trial where you're on a motorway and basically you had to get within you know each is a time zone within a certain amount of time um, so so far so cool uh, and the way they let you change cars in this game is kind of interesting you just pull up to a garage there'll be a little oh, you hear a little tingle and there's a garage and you pull in and you can change cars um, i haven't seen any customization options in terms of engine parts or anything like that so maybe that's where some of the problem i'm going into this very blind by the way so this is all new to me and I'm actually really enjoying it. I think because it's a it's a linear experience, funnily enough, I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, there's no, that you can customize colors and body, car, uh, body parts, but I don't see any engine modification. Like you're not buying, um, like I unlocked nitrous, but there was no, um, I haven't seen parts where you can buy different tires or anything like that. Uh, the other thing was, there is a slight graphical glitch in terms of sometimes the text doesn't show up when you're in a race. It, you'll sometimes get a message, like a help message or whatever, and it will just be blank. But you don't really need that. You kind of can work out how to play a racing game without them. Uh, but that's basically how everything works. Um, there seems to be a good selection of cars to pick from. The drifting seems pretty solid. I haven't done a lot of it. Um, but it all seems to work as intended. Uh, the load times can be on the slightly longer side, even though I'm, I'm wondering if that's because I'm running it off an SSD and not off of the uh, internal drive, but I wouldn't have thought for a 360 game the SSD would matter. So have any of you guys played Need for Speed the Run and, and what are your thoughts on it? If you've come here, you're probably wanting to play Need for Speed the Run. And if that's the case, like, is it when did you first play it i remember picking it up for my xbox 360 but i actually never played it. i think i got a second hand like an eb games or something and was like intended to play it and then it just never happened that's me in a nutshell um but so far i'm really enjoying it um between that and forza horizon 4 i've been having a lot of fun with racing games and i have been playing another racing game i'm gonna have a look at too um and you might be surprised by what it is when it shows up but I think it's I have only put in a couple of hours so I don't want to say anything just yet until I've actually put a bit of time and effort into it um, but this has actually taken my attention uh, especially with how nice it looks I really like the environments like you go the first part is in San Francisco City which is like looks like every other racing game city uh, and then we went to the National Park Yellowstone also with and that was really cool you had waterfalls and big mountains and trees and then you move on to the nevada desert which is what you're seeing here and i think it looks really great um also if in this video you're not hearing audio i had to i had some issues recording audio so i've had to just turn it off and i've just put some nice lovely music in the background so there is audio it all works fine but my recording stuffed up so i've decided not to have it but without further ado thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one